Well, we'll be now at the EFL Cup event here at Tutu Mitchum United. It's Philip Rudling and Keish Petit of the AFC Modern Foundation. Phil, just explain the format here today for us. Yes, it's our Girls' Cup. Uh, we are on this event every year uh, and we've got about 17, 18 teams in this event. And it's year seven, year eight girls from across uh, most secondary schools in, in, in Wandsworth and in Merton and the odd Kingston School as well. Uh, and yeah, it's, it's a round robin sort of tournament, and we'll be going on to about one o'clock with uh, semi finals and finals. And uh, it's a great opportunity for girls to, you know, to have more competitive matches and, uh, you know, be, be part of the women and family, I suppose, in that sense. Quite a lot of teams mixed in. Um, under 13s, brilliant football being played. Some girls in teams, some girls who've never really um, been, been playing for teams so far, so their school team, they take this quite a serious event. Um, we run a local one, and they're just trying to go through to the area final. You've joined the foundation this year. Have you noticed a real uptake in girls' football? Oh, yeah, massively. Uh, building towards uh, the Women's World Cup next year, something we're massively trying to just increase participation, keep them playing, um, sustaining them, basically, uh, and also just trying to build pathways for girls to, to go and basically play and keep on playing within the game. For yourself, how did your interest in the game start? Uh, I actually started similar to this, so didn't play until probably about this age group, so this was kind of my vital time where I realised oh, football was for me, I wanted to carry it on. Um, so, yeah, football journey pretty much started exactly where these girls are playing and are still playing now, so if I can hopefully build their pathway to, to have them playing for life, then that's, that's great. And AFC Wimbledon's foundation getting into schools, how important is that for you guys as well coming to you? Um, well, for us it's really good because they do it across the across the whole age group. So a couple of days ago we were at one for Key Stage 4 pupils and then today the Key Stage 3 pupils have had an opportunity. So it's good that the girls are getting the chances because usually it's aimed at the, aimed at the boys, so it's fantastic that the girls are getting involved and from here they get the opportunity to play for different teams and get scouted as well, which is fantastic. Have you noticed uh, more of an uptake within girls' football within the school? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Um, over the coming years, I mean, today is the first time, we, first year we've managed to bring two teams. Usually we only bring one, so there's definitely more and more girls that want to get involved, and it's just about giving them the opportunities now, which today gets them more motivated to want to keep doing it. And it's good that the local league club, AFC Women, are getting into schools yeah. and helping to promote football and, and healthy fitness. Yeah, yeah definitely. No, they, they they help as well if we want, you know, if we've got girls that we want to put forward to, for a team, they help branch out and get teams as well. So the opportunities they're, they're creating are really good for the girls. Your own interest in football? Have you got an interest in football? Yeah, so I used to play. I was actually the, the first team here at Tootin and Mitchin, the, the oh. girls' team that used to play here. I played for AFC Wimbledon when I was younger, so I've got a massive football background as well, which, again, and I think helps motivate the girls that they can see that you know football is you know a big thing. Lots of people are playing it now, and kind of something to look up to. We've now reached the final stage. Who have we got in there, and how's it going? Yeah, it's been a really good tournament so far and a very competitive final. Uh, we've got Urshline playing Kingston Grammar. Well played everyone, well done for getting this far. So Urshline win by two goals to one. Good final. He's the star player, he scored two goals. Well, Rachel Corrigan of Urshline School, well done today. That's what uh, over 100 players here today, yeah. 17 teams. You've come out on top, how does it feel? Absolutely excellent. I'm so proud of the girls, they've worked so hard. Um, for the last whole half term with all their training, they've really gelled together as a team today um, to pull out some results. And there's been some absolutely in outstanding individual and team play as well. So really have really happy for them. How excited are you to be able to take on a, represent AFC Wimbledon in the regional finals now? Yeah, excellent. Again, it's something we haven't done before. We've never got this far in one of these competitions representing AFC Wimbledon before. Um, we're really happy to be working with you guys. Um, we love doing our coaching sessions with you. So we're very proud to be wearing that AFC Wimbledon badge. And you've got memories, of course, in the past of when Barry Fuller came down and visited you with the playoff trophy a couple yes, of years ago. Yes, definitely. Yeah, some of our girls who are here today, I think, were part of that. Um, so, yeah, we've got really good, positive connections with AFC. It'd be nice to get our hands on a trophy of our own as well again. Excellent. Well done. I'll let you go and take the trophy. Thank you very much. Everyone uh, played the right, with the right attitude. Everyone was taking it really seriously, uh, but at the same time having fun. So you're giggling around with some of your teammates and things like that. That is... Oh, that's a fine in the change rooms. like £3 fine. OK, brilliant.
Well, well done, really good final. So, fourth place we had. Can you shout your own name? Oh, yeah. Okay, well done. Yeah. Give them a round of applause. Well done for playing that last game. In third place, then we had. Greenshaw. Greenshaw, well done. And from our close final, our runners up. Okay, we had second place with. So well done. Come up. Okay, we'll medal you and we'll give you this and you can do a cheer. Form a line. Yeah, a little orderly cheer with you. Good. Well done. Well done. Thank you. Well done. Well done. Thank you. You're welcome. Came through the playoff route, but I feel done really, really well. So well done for S Line. Brilliant, well done. You can smile, you know. You're allowed to smile. There you go, that's the smile I was looking for. Just go, just go. Hey, well done. This is yours. Hold on. Oh, yeah, it's <laughs> 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 <laughs>